Brunswick, Georgia, federal prosecutors and defense attorneys are expected to select final jurors and begin opening statements Monday in the federal hate crimes trial against three white men convicted of murdering Ahmaud Arbery, who was black, as he jogged through a coastal Georgia neighborhood nearly. The court on Friday qualified 64 jurors to undergo additional questioning before attorneys used preemptory strikes to winnow the pool to 16 people. The trial is expected to last 7 to 12 days, said federal judge Lisa Godby Wood. Between 700 and 800 potential jurors were asked a series of questions, which included if they believed the McMichaels and Brian were guilty and if the racial undertones of the case would affect their ability to be impartial. Although race has been at the center of the case, state prosecutors did not need to prove Arbery's death was racially motivated to secure a conviction, a key difference from the federal trial. Federal prosecutors argue father and son Gregory and Travis McMichael and their neighbor William Roddy Bryan violated Arbery's rights when they willfully interfered with his right to enjoy a public road in the Satilla Shores neighborhood and did so because of Arbery's race. Several potential jurors said problems with racism are exaggerated and questioned the need for hate crime laws. Potential juror no. One hundred seventy one, who described himself as a white man from the South, said during questioning last week he's never seen a real problem with racism in my day. Still, he told prosecutor Christopher Parra he could support a hate crimes conviction with the right evidence. There would have to be a real doctor. A woman identified in court as juror number 156, whom was qualified to remain in the jury pool, said, I just think it doesn't matter what the race is. If it's wrong, it's wrong. Unlike the state trial, where jury selection took more than two weeks, Partly due to potential jurors' concerns about remaining anonymous, few potential jurors knew the men. Wood issued one o o o jury summons across the Southern District of Georgia, which spans 43 counties include Glynn County, where Brunswick sits. Travis and Gregory McMichael and their neighbor Brian face one count each of interference with rights and attempted kidnapping, 